Hey guys, what's going on? Andrew coming at you. I thought in this one I would do like just touch base with everybody and like get a video out to just kind of keep moving forward. For those of you guys that didn't know, I got COVID about two weeks ago and I was fine like for the first week for the most part. Uh, was able to still do some TikToks and do some work and stuff. And then the second week I got like hit super hard. Like I had a really bad uh, fever for like eight days in a row, I would say in total. And it just like hit me pretty hard. I ended up losing like 10 pounds, maybe like 4.5 kilograms. And I'm still like a bit beat up. Like I'm able to run, but uh, at the same time, I don't have energy. So it's like sometimes I run and I'm completely dead. And I have a little bit of the lasting, I guess, fatigue effects. I got a little bit of brain fog too. So uh, luckily for me, I'm a runner, so I'm used to pushing myself through when I'm like exhausted. So I don't know what else to do other than do that. And I definitely feel like a little bit unmotivated in general. So like, that's why I like, I want to get a YouTube video out and then kind of push forward. I don't think any of it's like real unmotivation or like, it's not like it's a real thing. It's just something that I'm dealing with right now. So, uh, and this is a bummer because like, I, I just wanted to inform you guys on a couple of things happening in my life. So you understand like why I was like gone for so while or not as frequent. Uh, one is that, uh, my Sambo and I are getting an apartment. That's all I'll say for right now, but, uh, we bought an apartment. So that's really, really cool. And that was a bit of a process, but it'll be, uh, fun to be a homeowner in Sweden and it's 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 a big step you know to take and it took some time and then finalizing everything and putting it together took a little bit of time uh, and then after that I had to deal with something stressful which I talked about in the previous video but I don't want to go into it here I'll talk about it someday but not now really but let's just say it wasn't fun and then I got hit with COVID <laughs> so it was like six weeks of constant stuff and plus yeah, I'm a little bit busy in in work and stuff but I love what I do so it's it's no issues or no problems so that's everything that's been going on with me and then just on top of it just now basically uh dealing with the exhaustion so uh one thing that's cool about getting an apartment with what I'll say is that I'm actually going to build like a legit YouTube studio so that I actually have like everything you need to professionally do a bit. I need an area I can go into and be creative and record. It's like always set up, ready to go. I just feel like it'll save me so much time. And uh, I've always wanted to start some type of podcast thing. I, I had one a long time ago when I was a kid. I had this podcast I started before podcasts like really blew up. And it was just something I did for fun. But I think for me, I have to talk about a few different things every once in a while. I can't just talk about Sweden all the time, but I probably will still talk about Sweden quite a lot and or I might do something on a different channel because like I like video games. I'd like to talk about that every once in a while. For example, I got the PlayStation 5, which I'm not going to lie, I took up a little bit of my time <laughs> in that six week period because uh, I was able to get a hold of a PlayStation 5 about three months ago and I'm really enjoying it. And uh, <clears throat> Returnal just came out. I finally got the first new PlayStation 5 game exclusive when it came out. I got like the headphones, I got two controllers, I got the docking station. Uh, so I'm ready to go and have some fun there, but I wanna make sure I get some content out. So I just wanna say though, like I'm not like, good news is like, even though I have like a lot of fatigue, I'm tired, I'm not like 100% myself. I feel quite positive overall. I'm happy that it wasn't like super serious and I got through it. It's just this, it, the lasting effects is kind of a bummer. I also want to remind people because I don't know what it's like for everybody else, but just like be careful. I mean, for the coming months, I can't force anyone to get a vaccine or not get a vaccine. And I have my personal opinion on it, which is that I would personally like to have one because I believe I've had COVID twice at this point. And the second time was quite rough that uh, a lot of regions in Sweden have now like restrictions put in place for people, asking people to stay inside. I know Link Shipping's on a personal lockdown where they're asking everybody for two weeks to stay inside. And for the most part, I think everybody's following that, but it's really easy when I go out on a jog or a run or something like that to see a lot of people still not following the regu regulations. I mean, just at this point, do it, just do it. I mean, the, the medical systems here in Sweden are on the brinks of collapse. And it's not fun for any doctors to have to decide triage, like who gets to be a put on a ventilator or not. I mean, that's that's a tough thing for anyone to deal with. So please, please, please just be careful 
for the next two weeks. It might be longer than two weeks, but I recommend doing it because we're so close to the end with COVID. I really think so. I think once everybody gets vaccinated, it's not going to like go back to normal starting tomorrow, but we'll slowly be able to be able to do more things, maybe have concerts, do things, but it'll be a slow thing moving back. And it was just, I feel like after World War One, like when the war ended, there were still people that didn't hear the war was over and they got killed. Uh, it's still thousands of people, I believe. It was a couple thousand people that died like a couple days after the war ended just because of how difficult it was to get information out. And that's kind of how I view uh, what it would be like for people to die of COVID now. For an elderly person to get COVID and die now because they're visiting their grandson or granddaughter, I get all that stuff, but it's just like, just make it a few more months. Like we got everything we need to be successful to get out of this. So I know it sucks. Trust me, I know. I haven't seen my family in two years and that's rough. And if I do go home, like I'm looking at options, I know it's gonna sound maybe hypocritical, but I'm looking at possibly going home at some point if I can, since I've had COVID, I should have immunity for a few months and going to the United States to get vaccinated. Like if I go to the US, the first thing I'm gonna do is get vaccinated because as an American, I can get vaccinated in the States. So that's something I'll look at if Sweden is still like behind on the vaccinations. So anyways, be careful. Wanted to check in with everybody. Hope everybody's well. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hey,